Hi guys, this is rather random and today we're gonna start a great journey playing one of the best games ever made that is XCOM Enemy Within it's a turn-based strategy game uh, if you don't know about it make sure you play it it's really good if you know about it and if you're an experienced player even I think this playthrough will be quite fascinating for you as well because um, of the way we're gonna play it now I am gonna start a single player game and we're gonna choose impossible difficulty it says here for players who find joy in suffering uh, and now there's these advanced options here we can click those because we're playing on impossible the game um, expect us to know what the melody is and simple movement of soldiers so we can click those but we can click operation progeny which is uh, rescuing uh, what is it uh, rescuing an abductee who is more than she seems uh, that is Annette Durand also Operation Slingshot Slingshot is rescuing Xiao Jie Zhang uh, Chinese guy and we're gonna click Iron Man what Iron Man does is basically every move that you make in the game is fine we, the game saves right after the move is made so there's no way you can uh, if you made a bad choice you can go back and reload an older save that's impossible basically every decision is final enable Iron Man and yes reduce beginner voiceover that's good so uh, yeah so Dr. Valen doesn't talk all the time because she, she's a little annoying now here's the interesting part there's all these second wave options here and uh, believe it or not I'm gonna click all of these and beat the game hopefully it's gonna be tight but beat the game with all these clicked I'm gonna go quickly through all these as I click them damage roulette weapons have a much wider range of damage that's self-explanatory but it's usually comes it's unpleasant because um, there are weapons that do a lot of damage and that can reduce it to very little so um, it can turn out to be <clears throat> really unpleasant uh, it goes the other way aliens can hit you for little damage where more is expected so it goes both ways new economy there are 16 funding countries that um, um, participate in this XCOM project and they usually have set up uh, money how much they give and this just randomizes it uh, not created equally soldiers will be different they will have different aim and will when they when we start the game usually they have 65 aim and 40 will and this is gonna randomize everything hopefully we get some better soldiers that way hidden potential that's the same as this but when you get uh, promotions the stats increase randomly training roulette that gives classes abilities from different classes and it makes really interesting soldiers that way safe scum that we don't really have to click because that's kind of the same uh, what is that loading a save game where we reset the random number seed so okay so we can't load a save game so um, that's kind of useless but we're gonna click it anyway now red fog is one of the worst in the game that means once the soldier is hit it will degrade its aim and will and uh, makes it really hard that way but uh, it's realistic if someone's wounded they probably won't be able to sh shoot very straight 
absolutely critical a flanking shot will guarantee a critical hit so if someone's in the open or flanked that's a hundred percent critical hit um, the greater good uh, psionics can only be learned by interrogate, interrogating a psionic alien that's um, that's okay makes it a little harder as pretty much every little one clicked makes it a little harder marathon the game takes considerably longer to complete now that's it's not explained very well well actually that does marathon is just increases research time three times so you know how when you start and you have eight days to research let's say meld or or uh, alien materials or fragments or whatever well with that click it will be 24 days not eight so it makes it really 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 difficult in the beginning of the game results driven the country will offer less funding as its panic increases so if it's in the blue with panic it will give more money than if it's in the orange let's say again that just means we get less money high stakes that just randomized when um, when you do alien abductions usually have four you get four um, a choice of, of four engineers or scientists or stuff like that this can be two engineers or six you know it's a little more randomized diminishing, diminishing returns again oh this is probably the one that's the worst of all of these and that means once you build one satellite the next one's gonna be twice as expensive and so on and so forth so what that makes you do is you can't really build satellites until the third month where you can build a bunch at once that's the only way you can build all the satellites at once otherwise you just can't build more if you build three then you you can't build a fourth one because you'll be so expensive and you'll require so many engineers that it's just physically impossible <coughs> so that makes the game impossible <laughs> as it says more than human that's an unpleasant one too extremely rarely uh, say on, um, soldiers become psionics and we, you do need at least one psionic to beat the game so that makes the game super hard it actually can mean you don't have any psionics to beat the game but we'll see now this one is super unpleasant to which you trigger identical that means <coughs> upon being revealed usually you know when you reveal what uh, a group of aliens they kind of disperse and and then you have your turn to fight them and then they have the, their turn well here with this click they can just start once you sh see them they start shooting at you certain alien, enemy types only war wariness uh, funding levels drop so that's just again less money less money to deal with E155 that means Illyrium if you don't use it it just degrades it becomes less and less and what we'll be doing is we're gonna be selling all the Illyrium at least in the beginning of the game so we don't lose it and get that money total loss if a soldier dies whatever uh, equipment they have on them it will go with them so let's say we build a scope on someone he gets killed the scope will be gone as well um, alternate sources just all the uh, building the facilities that we're gonna build will uh, require more power so that's hard we're gonna have to build a lot of power uh, generators aiming angles the units receive an aim bonus the closer they are flanking an enemy so it depends um, if you're if someone's behind full cover and you're almost flanking them but not quite that still gives a better percentage to, to the shot and mind hates matter now this one 
it just sounds better than it actually is. Genetically modified soldiers cannot undergo side testing. So a soldier can be either a Psy warrior or genetically modified, which means we'll have to wait until very late in the game to, um, to test our soldiers if they're psionic, because we do want, by, and combined with uh, more than human, that means there's a very little chance a soldier soldiers will be psionic. So we have to test soldiers first to, be, to see if they're psionic, and if they aren't, then we can genetically modify them. So we won't have genetically modified soldiers until very late in the game. So that's all these. Believe me, everything clicked makes that game really, 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 really difficult. And I think it's um, more suitable to call impossible because it is pretty damn close to impossible to be like that. Okay, let's let's begin. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought to by degrees to wield his sword. Buckminster Fuller. Okay. So uh, let's see. Ooh. What was that? Actions happen. Oh shit. What was that? That's not good. Terrestrial incursion. This Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Okay. Going. This is our Sky Ranger. Good luck, Commander. Okay, we'll need luck. Lots of it. So hopefully. Straight off the bat, we need good soldiers for that first mission. Now, here we choose where to build our base. And um uh, depending on what continent we build it in, there are different bonuses. In North America, uh, aircraft and its weapons are half the price to purchase, build and maintain. Europe, laboratories and workshops cost half the price to build and maintain. Asia, Foundry and officer training school cost 50% less the purchases in these the projects in in these two facilities South America autopsies and interrogations are completed instantly Africa 30% more money now Asia I think is the best uh, choice for me personally because um, what has to happen is we have to get the officer training school as up as fast as we can and build everything there that's the only way we'll have a chance 
to defeat this game, we, we get this up and running super fast. Uh, and um, we'll choose that. We'll build our base in Japan, right here somewhere, I believe, on this island. And we'll fight alien terror from here. So let's begin. Let's see what kind of map we got. Okay. We're heading into China for the next operation. <coughs> picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan Okay. Area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Not a terrible map. Now. We'll see. This is our Sky Ranger and these are our guys. Let's see. Couple women. Oh. Strike one. This is central. You so we have Ellen Olsen the by the name. It sounds Scandinavian, so probably Swedish. She's very good aim. That's good. Low will, but the aim is really high, so I'm very happy with her. So let's move now. Oh, we see one meld. Now meld containers, this is this alien substance that they carry with them. And we have to collect the, uh, these. The way it works is they're turn-based and they expire, so it make you move fast. Uh, which isn't a good idea in the beginning, but uh, let's move here. That's uh, full cover behind this. And maybe we'll see what the timer on this is. I'm on it, Command. Okay. Visual on the good. Okay, we have five turns to get to it and click it. So that's possible. So now Ellen Olsen, she's awesome. Let's see who else we have. Jeff Flores. He looks looks like he's American. Let's see if he's good. Wow. He's really good as well. So far so good. Two really strong soldiers. Let's move him here as well. Okay. Let's see who else we have. So Olsen, can we see her flag? Yeah, she looks it looks like it's Swedish. Can't quite tell, but yeah, definitely. So we have a Swedish and an American. They're both really good aims, so I'm excited about that. We have Konstantina Bulos. Constantina Bulos. Is that Greek? It's probably Greek. She's also good. Okay. Wow. So far, three good soldiers. Her aim is high. Her will is normal. So, very good. And we have a German lady as well. Elsa Newman. She's not as good as the others. But, uh, yeah, a little bit less aim than normal. Usually 65 is regular starting aim for rookies. So um, I'm really happy with these soldiers. So we're gonna overwatch here. We're gonna try to make our way here. Now usually there's a group down here or here but we will try to get this first and take it from there. So let's Overwatch with everyone. Okay. Nothing so far. Now, usually it's not a good idea to go just in the open. It's good to go in cover. So maybe here. But I do want to get to the melt fast. So I'm going to go here. And if that doesn't uncover groups of enemies, we'll just punch everyone behind her. And On my way. Okay, nothing. See, next turn she can go all the way up here, and the turn after she can grab the melt. Now, I see the second melt here. You see, there's the second, there's always two containers on abductions and ship missions. This, this one we may not be able to get to. It's kind of far. So now that we know we, we haven't seen anyone, it's safe to just to go behind that one. Just to be close and here. Okay. 
And Overwatch with everyone. Overwatch. 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 Okay. Okay, yeah, that's the second mail, but I don't... Now. The thing is, if we come here, it may uncover, but I think we have to... Yeah, we have to go here and see what the situation is. Well, let's see where she can go, okay. So, what's her name? Bulos has really good mobility, it looks like. Cause look, she can go... She's a tile behind Olsen. And she can go further, so she can move well. Let's go here in full cover with Olsen. On my way. And see... Uh-oh. Two. Okay. Let's see. One here, one here. Okay. Now. We can probably flank if we went here, but there are two of them. How are we gonna play this? I wonder if here we'll see anything. Let's try that first. She does see one. 51. What about... Hmm. Yeah, what about here with Bulos? On my way. She flanks one for 70. Oh boy. I think we're gonna have to take those shots. <coughs> she doesn't see... Ooh. What we can do though is... Okay. We may want to do that. It won't hit the alien, but we will remove its cover. So I'm gonna take the 70% shot with bulls. Come on, Constantina, you can do this. Another thing we can do is maybe chicken grenade. Nope. So 70%, let's go. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, that's not good. Well, we do have that shot as well, so... And his aim is really good, so uh, this will be an 80%. Let's try that. Come on, Jeff. There it is. And now, we have two soldiers that cannot do anything anymore. We use their turns, so I think, and they're exposed. And with, with impossible with everything click those guys have high aim so I don't want to risk especially Jeff he's great I don't want him to die so I will I will throw this grenade remove this guy's cover so um, what's her name Newman she will have a better chance she will probably be the thing is 51 isn't terrible but it's only 10 critical because he's behind cover once that cover is gone, it will be 100% critical. It will be probably 60 and 100% critical. So, let's do that. It's kind of a waste of a grenade to not hit anything with it, but um, it will give us a chance to kill that one. 60%, if it hits, it should kill. He's in the open. Fuck. Well, he's still alive, but wounded. Very... Okay. What is he gonna do? Is he shooting at someone? Please don't kill anyone. Okay. Now, we must kill that one. Now, the thing is, there could be a second group in this area. So... So... Jeff Flores has a kill, right? Now I'm wondering if we go here and click, I am gonna do that. Will that uncover more? 
80% is decent and I'm gonna take it I'm gonna use a pistol shot because um, he's only one he has one health so there's no need to um, waste ammunition from the assault rifle this is the same percentage 80 So I'm gonna try to pistol it with Olsen. Come on Olsen, you can do this. There it is. Nice. Okay, very good. So that's the first group. There will be two more groups of, of um, three. So uh, that was two and there will be three and three. I will go here and here and next turn just show up and see if there's a group back here. And if not, we will try moving towards this meld. But because uh, we do want to get both melds, but it will be difficult. So let's go here with Bulos. She has a grenade. And let's go. He I think here is safe. I just want to put people close. Yeah. So also very important in the beginning, you have to remember who killed. So Flores has a kill and Olsen, so the other two rookies need kills as well. And Newman, I'm just gonna dash her just so she's close to the action next turn. Okay, and just reload. I don't think they'll show up, so we can... I know it's just a little bit, with just a quarter of the clip, but we will reload <coughs> to be ready. Now, let's see, we, we may get some indication where they are. Nope, no indication. Now, Olsen can get too far, so um, I guess Bulos has to come here and figure out what's going on. No one. Okay, looks like there's no one here, so uh, we've covered this part of the map. Now, how do we approach that melt in this case? here earlier and there was no one right we, we, so uh, I think I'm gonna dash here we're gonna try through here to grab that mount so let's go okay seems safe so uh, may as well go here she will have to dash back now Two people can go through here, two people can go. This is good because it's high advantage, so maybe. Yeah. It's not a great idea to uh, split the squad. So, you know what? Let's just keep together. Here seems safe, she sees, and there's no one. So. I always usually go through here because it's high advantage, but the meld is rarely at this position. It's usually like down here or here. So I think it would be best to try to grab it like this using, using this path here. There will be two groups there and it will not be pleasant dealing with them, but um, we'll try our best. Okay. Six. The most important is not to reveal them at the same time. Yep. We do hear them. We know they're there. Okay, Olsen. Where can she go? Nowhere really good. Now. Can. Yeah. Can, so, Jeff Flores. Jeff can come here. Let's hit. I'll see how much time we have for the meld. Three. It's not, it's not much. In fact. 
we kind of have to dash to get to it, which sucks. Let's switch to assault rifle on Allison. Let's come here. I'm on it, Commander. Seems safe. Now. Newman. Is it Newman or Neumann? I'm not sure. If there's someone German out there, please let me know. Um, could be Neumann. I'll call her Neumann. I think it's more accurate. Um, since she's a crappier soldier, doesn't have a kill on her yet, I will dash her. Not here, but here. And hopefully that doesn't uncover. I know it's slightly risky, guys, but you have to make those risks. You have to take those risks. Uh, so then maybe here... Moving. Okay, so Flo Flores can overwatch. Let's bring Bulos back into the action. Here it's half cover, I don't like this. Let's keep her Move behind here. Okay. I am worried about this. Now, let's move him here. I will try to get close next turn. I hope everybody dashed on this turn. Yeah, they are there, of course. Okay, nothing yet. Okay, who used her? Okay, she doesn't have any. So, uh, may as well go here, and if we don't see anything, we're just gonna position here, overwatch, and next turn go and grab it. Okay, please don't uncover. Okay. Yeah, that gives us a chance to position better. And here or here. It's kind of crazy how close we're gonna get, but um, okay, let's go here with him. Please don't uncover. Okay. Whew. And dash her in that spot. Time to motor. Okay, we're in decent position. What I'm afraid of is let's reload here because we will be fighting very soon. What I'm super scared of is that. Ah, oh shit! Here they are. Okay, come on, shoot it. Nope. So now we have to see where they go. It's very important. One goes here, one is here, one is here. Okay. Shit. And there is one more group right there. Now, if we grab this, so one is here. One is here, one is here. What we can do is kind of bunch up. <laughs> Dash everyone here and see what they do. I don't think, but like once again, without uncovering the second, because that would be an absolute disaster. So I am going for the melt. Okay. Now we collected both melts. I think he's behind a generator or close to one. Yeah, see this thing, if you blow it up, it does three damage. So, and so we can grenade that one, hopefully, next turn. Now she can only dash here. Is this safe? Because this guy, he can come. Well, maybe here is safer. Wow, this is insane. Okay, this is a little safer. What about her? She can go all the way here. I'm gonna try this with her first. Okay, Bulos, let's go. It's kind of crazy, but <coughs> it's what we have to do. Don't uncover the second, please. 
Okay. Second group must be like right here somewhere. Oh shit. So now. Okay, so she's there. Neumann can come here. Let's go. And now it's important where he dashes from. Because I think this there's a high risk if he see how it tells you what path he chooses. If he comes through here, there may be a group here that he uncovers. So uh, actually with him we can pull back. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. On my way. Okay, that's enough risks. Now he does have the grenade. May as well get him in there too, but uh, I just don't know if he has the the mobility to get there. So Jeff will have to pull back in Overwatch. Moving. Overwatch. Let's see what happens. Oh shit, it's another group. Okay, these cannot... Okay, Jeff, come on, get that one at least. Fuck. Okay, it's not good. Well, we are safe. Now, the first group didn't melt, didn't mind merge, which is strange. We can kind of tell where they are by... Um, so now, this one is in the open, so Jeff can probably get it. Let's see. So, one is here. We can double grenade, but we can't really tell where they are. Now, it looks like there's two here. One, two. Probably one where he was. Looks like maybe two are here. So there's six total, that's insane. I think the best course of action is Jeff tries that 80. Come on, come on, Jeff, you can do this. Yes. Okay, one is down, five to go. We're in a Pretty bad strategical position now. But we do have two grenades. So what's the best we can do? I mean, if they're bunched up well, we can probably get their five. I'm almost willing to sacrifice Newman, Neumann just to see where they are. There could be overwatches as well. But come up here, we'll know where they are and what we can do. We have two grenades, so we can double grenade or something. Yeah, I will give them at least one target, Neumann. Wow, okay, that's... Could work for us. Let's see. A grenade can kill how many of these? If, if it can kill four, that would be sweet. But not quite. God damn it. Yeah. It can only kill three, and I think these three will have to eat it. Okay. So. Triple kill. So we killed one, there are five. We see four. can come here and flank that one at the end of this if he's not an overwatch I think for her best is to just stay where she is and get the triple kill yeah so that's what's gonna happen we'll kill three <coughs> 
right? <laughs> That's hilarious how they're in, in a diagonal line just sitting there. Okay, we're doing it. Definitely grenading here. Like so. I want to destroy all this cover just in case. So, like this. Okay. Now, what we can actually do is. No. I was thinking to grenade that one, but that would leave two alive. So we need to kill these three. And what I'm gonna try is. We don't see in the back, so maybe like this we'll hit someone back there that we don't see. And there's one more somewhere, so like this. Bulldoze gets a triple kill. Didn't hit anything else. Now, there are two left. This one and another one somewhere else. Who knows where, but I'm willing to come here. There may be an overwatch shot, he may be on overwatch, but um, we have to risk it. Okay, no overwatch, 80%. Let's go also, we can do this, I know. There's one, there's one alive, let's hope he doesn't kill anyone. Oh, Olsen is gonna die, shit. Oh no, he doesn't have a second. Beautiful, that was his second move. Now, can Jeff come and grenade it? So we remove that cover. We have to try it. Yes, Commander. I think so. Yeah. Let's blow up this too, just to give us easier access to it. Like this. Catch. This was extremely risky, guys, but uh, I, it worked. And now, Bulos has kills, Jeff has kills, Olsen has kills. The only one without kills is Neumann. So we'll come here and get her a kill. Hopefully. See, her aim is bad, so even from that range, it's not 100%. But um, we'll try and. The 92%, we don't have to use the rifle, just a pistol will do. And that was a perfect first mission. It did involve some risks. The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. But it worked. It worked really well for us. And uh, we have good soldiers. Let's just hope um, we get the heavy that we get is. Let's just hope it's not Neumann. Anyone else but Neumann. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Okay, Commander to the research labs. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. Welcome. I mean, hi. I'm Central Officer Bradford. Hi, Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. Okay. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. All of them are waiting for promotions, Bradford. Not just one. Let's see what we got. This is important. Okay, this is our base. And Ellen Olsen is here. Great. Like Perfect. Perfect. Elsa Newman. The like the weaker, the weakest soldier became the support, and that's great. Jeff, Jeff is a sniper. That's great. I think this is pretty much the best it could have been. So Ellen Olsen, what a badass heavy, 80 aim. Her will is kind of on the low side, and didn't get a health promotion, but that's okay. She's great. I was in Neumann. She's not bad. She may become a mech later in the game. We may chop her arms and legs, put her in a mech suit. We'll see. We have Jeff Flores. 
Wow. That is really badass. 49... 80, 88 is nice. Okay. And... Bulos. She's Greek, as I expected. And... She's decent as out. So, uh... That was a really good first mission. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Okay, so we have research available. And we recovered 8 corpses, 10 fragments and 20 melt. Perfect. Now, let's go and meet Dr. Valen. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Valen. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. Cool. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. We will. Thank you, Valen. So let's start new research. I think I'm gonna go for meld. See, it's 24 days. It's usually eight if you don't click all those second wave options. But yeah, if we can get max up, it's gonna give us a great possibility. So I'm gonna go in for meld. Seems the complexities of our latest research projects are overwhelming the current staff. I hope you'll consider seeking out additional scientists to bolster the team. Well, not really, not, not for now. We have to go for engineers. So uh, let's go and meet Shen. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Okay, let's see what we can do. Commander to mission control. Commander to okay. mission control. Relax. So we can build items right now. We can build a med kit, but that's kind of useless that early in the game. Uh, we can build satellites, 420 dollars. That's insane. But um, maybe we can reduce that cost by getting more engineers. So we're not going to be building anything, but let's see the facilities. Steam, steam, okay, steam, okay. Um, this is where our base will be situated. We have to dig and build stuff. So I'm gonna excavate here for starters. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. And that's all we can do here for now. What else? Yeah, we can't even go to the situation room yet. Now, we didn't get any medals. Let's uh, let's organize our soldiers a little bit. So Constantina Bulos will be our assault. Now assaults will have this armor and will be yellow like this yeah I like this and why not give assaults helmets commander to mission control commander to mission control so Bulos gets a helmet like this okay so that's Constantino Bulls he had she has five HP which is very good now our heavy can get commander to mission control commander to mission control our heavies will be green I like to use cover coding just so it's easier to uh, find what kind of class I have on the battlefield so like this and again let's give her a helmet like this yeah that's pretty good okay so that's Ellie Olsen and we have Jess Flores 
Our snipers will be blue. So let's give him blue. And I don't like this kind of. What is this, dude? What is this here? Really? That's lame. Let's change your facial hair a little, a little bit. Ooh, it's actually not bad if we give him a different hair. Yeah. Okay. It's a little more badass. Okay. So the Jeff Flores. And we have Eusen Neumann. Our support will be red. So give her this kind of armor and red. And Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Eusen Neumann. Awesome, so these are our soldiers. Let's see, we have some rookies down here. Maybe some of them are good. I am bringing these three for the next mission for sure. But instead of Neumann, we can bring another rookie. Nuam Mizrahi. Not bad. We also have Henry Koller. Not so good. Hiroki Takahashi. Not so good. Sofia Malakova, not so good. Come on. Okay, Shane Bradley, a little better. Fiona Command McKay, not so bad. Ooh, Ivan Vasiliev. Yeah, I think he will be coming up instead of that support. We'll see. Olga Vinogradova, not so good. And that's it. So, yeah, Ivan Vasiliev will be coming next mission so um that's all we can do really the, the only option now is to just scan for activity which will mean time will pass by and wait for the first abduction to come and prepare a squad for it come on okay now, we will go for where engineers are, no matter how many we have to. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow board. Okay, that's great. Houston. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> we have to go here and... Uh, let's see. So she's not coming. Let's see who has the best will. And instead of him will be Vasiliev. 70, 47 will. 35. 49. 43 so. Flores. I like to prepare people in a way that um because this will later be our squad leader, so whoever has the best will is in this central position here. So, um, we lose here and Vasiliev here. That's a really solid squad, let's see. 80 aim, 88 aim, 71 aim, and 80 aim. That, these are super soldiers. Okay. We will be doing these alien abductions next time. Thanks for watching this uh, first episode of this exciting series and I'll see you soon with the second one.